the LSD shit, nigga. Yeah. Freak out, freak out. Hey, yo, Val. Freak out, freak out. They trying to have you ready. I put the bitches ahead of my niggas and put on my niggas on payroll. I got a bitch who ain't too much of shit, but she good to go do what I say, so. I hit that nigga, don't lay low. Other little stick in that Drake off. We in your city, it's finna get litty. They finna be calling me Fuego. Yeah. Move we Fuego, I'ma make sure y'all remember me. Long live legends making history. Idle times the only enemy. We so high. Y'all ain't fucking with this. What up, it's your girl Jazzy Red, and you're listening to a new episode of Bro Girl in LA. Of course, I'm your host, and today I'm with my very first interview I've ever done trying to be a radio host, and that is my man's L Rock. Hey, here in LA, yeah, I followed yeah. her. I followed her. I had to come see you, baby. Yeah. Yeah, so what is bringing you to LA right now? I mean, we came out here to work. Just mm-hmm. work, work, work. I've been in, uh, Studio session after studio session, just like a studio session last night. We were in the studio right now yep. until one in the morning. Uh, we've been shooting videos. I came out here early. We doing some promo promotion and shit. So we just really just working, 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 man. Yeah, that's what's up. Trying so to get could... that name out there. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So the show is called Bro Girl in L.A. So mm-hmm. as most people know that are listening, I moved out here to pursue a dream. But you're not living out here. You're coming out here to help push your dream. Man, to keep it under. We came out here to look for property too. We trying to set yeah. up like yeah, we trying to set up hubs, man. Okay. And the spots that's that is popping at yep. where we need to be because we don't want to leave where we're from. We're from Seattle, Tacoma area, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? and it's not really popping for the music scene. Right, and it's hard to it's hard to get in the entertainment business out there. So right, you have to be in those entertainment cities and those yep. entertainment capitals to make shit pop. Exactly. Um, but yeah, so we, every time we move around like Vegas or here or New York, we're mm-hmm. looking for spots that we can like settle into because yeah. We need that. You need those hubs you know yeah. saying, to be able to get around and, and still and still stay where you're from because you got to be in your city. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what? That's why I go home so much Hell yeah. because I still have a pe- Tacoma still has me, you know? <laughs> yeah, you, know it, you think he let you go. It didn't yeah. let you go. It, it no. didn't let you go. It no. I was like, damn, I miss home. And like just little stuff too. Like, I mean, obviously I'm not in the in the headspace to move back yet because I feel like I have some moves that I can make here still. Right, right. But... I definitely. That's how you. Own. That's how you gonna always feel because you're a goer. You're you're yeah. somebody who's determined to make it. And, and when you, when you're one of those type of people, you never can quit. You didn't, right. you've invested right. too much into yourself to quit. Absolutely. Right. Absolutely. So what I mean, look, you. I interviewed you as my first interview on an online radio station that doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I came to you, and uh, I think that was at a studio that you had back then too, because it was like all white. You remember that? Man, no. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> was we There's hella people, yeah. and this is in the EBE days. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I had a couple of studios back then, so it, it was, it, I can't remember which one it was, but I'm pretty sure I. Rem- it, it was all white. It was a building. I felt yeah. In it, Tacoma? it was yeah. It was it was like an industrial uh, looking. Was we in the we was in the hill on the hill, huh? I think so. Yeah, that, that was it. That was like four or five years ago. Yeah. Yeah. Then yeah, you had your in home studio for a minute. Mm-hmm. Had to move, had to downsize. <laughs> get, get, a lot of gritty gang had to go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, and then I went to FM for a little bit doing the college thing, and yeah. you were interviewed there too. Yeah, that was at my. That's I got signed to the contract, a management deal with uh, NYL. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I was doing work with Choice Show. I was like, yeah. 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 And then now we're here. Now we're here. At least three time. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Created the on my own label. Doing my own thing independently. And, That's what's up. Yeah, putting artists on, doing some independent shit, man. Trying to, trying to get the bag. Yeah. I need that money now. All that okay. playing around, all that rapping for fun is over. Yeah. <laughs> for real. Man. You're over it. Over that. We got to get to the paper. There's too many. There's too much money, and there's too many niggas yeah. getting to the money that aren't as good as I am. So, Absolutely. Like, yeah, Absolutely. Yeah, win for sure. You know, you got to try to figure it out. Like, I mean, mm-hmm. these kids is cracking the code. And somehow, man, cheat codes. like they was born with the with the cheat code <laughs> already. Like, you already had the cheat code. How, <laughs> man? You knew. You right. knew this was gonna happen. Yeah. <laughs> so you got your new label. Yeah. What LH, is what's L- going on with LH3 that? LH Three Entertainment. Yeah. Um. Really, basically, I was in a situation and it wasn't really going how I wanted it to go. Mm-hmm. Um. And then it seemed like it wasn't going anywhere. So yeah. I gave it a year. I gave a year of my time and and waited it out and decided at the end like. I was looking at like other management situations and yeah. what I was gonna do, and the, for some reason I just feel like things ain't gonna go the way I want it to go unless it's in my hands. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And uh, I think 
me being a leader of something that can pop, like I've done this before. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I had gritty gang, and I've and I've led a group of people that maybe weren't really interested in being rappers or being mm-hmm. entertainers. But now I'm in a situation with a, a group of people that I think really want to be entertainers and yeah. and, and enjoy the craft of uh, making music. So yeah, now I think we can go places, and mm-hmm. I'm and I'm a little bit more knowledgeable about the the business side. Right. Before I thought just I could just rap and be good and, and win, mm-hmm. and now I know that's not the case. I know there's, there's a lot more to this business shit. Yeah, that's what I was gonna ask you too. Like how you've been in the game for many years, yeah, you know, yeah. doing the independent thing and then being signed and mm-hmm. figuring things out on how your career path wants to go. Like, what what are some of the things that you've learned across this road to where you're at right now? Um, man, I'm going to tell you this. I learned to just don't take nobody's word for nothing. Yeah. Like, you got to, it's action. A lot of things, it has to be action. You see yeah. some action, go go off that. But if you, if you see, if somebody's talking, Entertainment business is just entertainment. People talk just for yeah. entertainment. You know what I'm saying? People talk yep. just for their own entertainment. Just to hear themselves. <laughs> right. <laughs> so you gotta re- you gotta remember that shit. Like yeah. motherfuckers just capping left and right. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Oh, I can get you this, I can do this for you, I can you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. A lot of that you just gotta go off of what you can do for yourself and what you see. A lot of and and and, and, and bank on yourself a lot. Yeah. Like don't don't cash out on somebody else telling you what they could do for right. you. Right. Cash out on what you could do for yourself. You know what I'm saying? That's, Absolutely. That's the best advice I could give you. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Invest in your motherfucking self. Yep. <laughs> you know, I think that that can go for anybody in any kind of industry that they're interested in being in yeah. because there's so many people telling you which way to go with me and radio, which way to go, how to do things. And then I just figured it's not going to go any way that I wouldn't want right. to have control of everybody has a, a way to take like especially about some shit they never did like yeah. how, how do you know how to do this you never been there <laughs> right you don't even want to be there but right. you know have all the knowledge of it huh right okay yeah nah we, we ain't listening to that. <laughs> none of that <laughs> none yeah of that. we need some actual people that's really yeah. good do the things yeah you pull up and you pull up and show me and then then we go there we go well, let's do this yeah. now let's do it Yep. That's how I am on everything. Yep. If, if you can't pull up and show me or you can't pull up and let's make it happen like right now, let's do it. If you're talking about it, let's do it right now. I'm one of those type of people. Yeah, as you should be because right. there's no reason to be waiting around and everybody just talking, trying to listen to themselves say something cool. Right. And when really you could be putting we something be in the motion. It. Exactly. I exactly. tell people that all the time. I be like, man, everybody saying free this nigga. Like 30 niggas was like free this nigga, but if 30 niggas put up 10 bucks, he'd be out. <laughs> right. It's about what? 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 <laughs> when when, when yeah. niggas do the math, it sound crazy. Yeah. But then when, if you do the math in your head all the time, you can win. You do yep. the math for yourself. Absolutely. You man, Invest in yourself. I didn't went to like 30 niggas shows, and it cost me $100 a show. Man, I could have spent that 3000 on my own show. Boom. Come on, man. Go a show. Come on. See, <laughs> you could have made you could have made another three off of you. You spent three and got three out on top. Yep. Oh come on, that's what you're supposed to. That's what you're supposed to do. But people don't think like that. Yeah. For some reason. But we're gonna, we're gonna, reason, we're gonna think, change that around here. Yep, I think absolutely. Like three. It's it's a must. It's a must <laughs> yeah. at this point. You know, especially when you get to a certain part in 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 the pursuit of your career. Mm-hmm. Like it's it's no more like games, no games, no more games. <laughs> Everything has to have you move with purpose only, yeah, or no move at all. Yeah, <laughs> honestly, and that's one thing I like about LA because everybody here is trying to go. Right. Like they're for real trying to go. Like they're like, hey, like I came out here for a reason, and it's an ultimate grind. Like right. it's what you gotta do. Right. So are you thinking about like living here part time? Is that what you said when you looking for properties? Uh, like. Not not so much living because I got kids, you know. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. But B, I come out here already so much. Like I come yeah. out here, like on two day trip, three day trip, or whatever. But we mm-hmm. we've been out here five. We're gonna be out here for five days now. So it's like the trips are getting longer and longer. Yeah. Yeah, yep. longer and longer. Come on in, man. Come on in. I got my peoples in the building. L.A. Street is saying already. Oh, you good? Yeah, we good. Yeah, we good. Nah, I just wanted to know because you know. I know I do have Airbnb come through. Yeah, yeah. We just found out we got the Airbnb <laughs> and everybody listening in. Yeah. <laughs> Jazzy, Jazzy Red has the Airbnb hookup out here in LA. <laughs> For free promo, free promo. Yeah. No, for real. You gotta find multiple hustles yeah, living for real, out here. For real. That's how it is. Yeah. It's expensive. Oh Everything. Everything is expensive, man. Dumb expensive. I, put on, I, put on, I was on Melrose yesterday, put on this jacket. This dude told me he made the jacket out of old pieces of uh, fabric that he just had laying around, right? Wow. And then I said, oh, this jacket's pretty nice. I said, how much is it? He said, 
uh, 1200 but I, I can give you a deal on it. <laughs> <laughs> I was tripping. I'm like, bro, you just told me you made this jacket out of shit you just found laying around. And now it's a $1,200 jacket, huh? <laughs> but you can give me a deal. What kind of deal can you give me on this $1,200? Dollar jacket made of garbage you made, yeah, man. This is LA, man. <laughs> Welcome to LA. Everything's a hustle out here. Man, I couldn't believe that shit, man. That was wild as hell. That's hella funny. <laughs> Welcome to LA. That was a big one. Man. To I also bought a $35 soda. Actually, $35 I bought, soda? I bought two $35 sodas. <laughs> <laughs> see, see, that's the difference for my listeners who are in LA. We we don't do that shit. We live out here. We know that shit's expensive as fuck. We don't be going out here balling on little soda Man, spritz. I couldn't believe it. Look, I got to the register, and I heard the person in front of me. My partner was in front of me buying a, buying a Fanta. She mm. bought, a, uh, what was that, a watermelon Fanta or something? She bought this watermelon Fanta, and then the dude was like $7. And I was like, damn, seven dollars for a soda, for a little soda. But shit, we're in LA. Fuck it. I said, how much? I said, how much is this? And it was a, it was a peach coke. Mind you, let me tell you, I did buy the peach coke, and it was the most amazing peach coke I had ever had in my okay. life. The first time I ever had peach coke, but it was the most amazing peach coke. I said, how much? Is this? He said, thirty-five dollars. Now, mind you, I had two bottles in my hand at the time, and I'm like next in line. And I'm a rapper, nigga. So I just bought them motherfuckers. Uh-huh. I bought both of them motherfuckers. Like, fuck it. You only live once. Let my, all my partners taste some. Actually, I gave the whole thing to my to Frankie. <laughs> the, the Pepsi, it was like a J Cola. That's crazy. J Cola, Pepsi J Cola. That was crazy. I wow. gave that shit to Frankie. Man. Pepsi J Cola. Yeah. See, I don't even know what that is. It was good. <laughs> It's only in Japan. Only in Japan. Only in Japan. That's what they say. So the store was from Jap- Japanese store. No, this was an exotic. Can I, I don't even want to say the name of the jumper. I mean, the name of the, the store because I don't want to get too much promo. But it was no jumper. It was the uh, what was it called? Awesome shit. Aw- awesome shit store on Melrose. We was on, awesome on, shit. On some shit. Yeah, we were. Okay. Yeah, it was cool. Like no jumper, like the the site. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was yeah. their shit. That's their shit. Yeah, that's their oh. shit. I only. I don't even want to say that too much either. <laughs> They're not paying me. I'm trying to get a check. If I look. I wear Adidas every day. I've been waiting for Adidas to pay me. And I, I drink yeah. this so much. I'm waiting for these niggas to pay me. But I don't want to stop because this is my life. Yeah. This but is I your need lifestyle. you to pay me too, please. <laughs> it would be nice. It please. would be nice for you to just throw me. Can you throw me some free merch? Right. You know what I'm saying? Throw me some free cases. <laughs> no. yeah. So you've been putting out a ton of singles, though. Yeah, putting out a whole bunch, man. We just working. Yeah. Working, working, working like a and shit. So, like, what? why not, like, a project and just only singles? So, I just put out a project. I put out King Amongst Kings, uh, mm-hmm. what, February? The process. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, it's it's filthy, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, I, it took a lot of energy out of me, for one. And I was learning, like, about putting my music out, distribution of my music. And, okay. I, and I, I took a chance to kind of connect with my city and, okay. and my surrounding areas. All at once, killing a whole bunch of stones <laughs> together. Okay. So I was, I was doing a whole bunch of. I was like, man, I'm gonna work with the whole city. I'm gonna figure out how to put this music out right, okay. and I'm gonna figure out how to promote myself right at the same time with, oh, with that project. So that's what I did with that project, and it was a dope project. It's still mm-hmm. a dope project. So mm-hmm. go check that out, King Amongst Kings on iTunes, all that other good shit. Mm-hmm. Um, but it was my 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 tester basically for what I was gonna do with these singles. Got you. And I feel like every single I got is just so hot. It, it doesn't deserve to be hidden in an album. I don't want. I don't want okay. to hide my shit in the album because then it forces you. people to be like, "I'm only gonna listen to number seven and eight because those are my favorites." Yeah. Right. But if I put out these singles and give you visuals for them, you'll listen to every single one on YouTube every day. But you gotta be kind of like Chris Brown, but like a ton of singles and then just put all of them together. Yeah, exactly. Because that's end. how his shit be right. going platinum exactly. and gold. <laughs> Why not? They be like, "Damn, he just sold." 400 billion singles off this album and then I mean after this yeah after this record and then I was together this album yep boom there you go now it's a gold album platinum album yep. just like that very smart idea do it. yeah man I see it people do it already you gotta follow the blueprints of motherfuckers who are already winning mm-hmm. that's just exactly like that. right so who are more your influences these days I know you pretty much grown as an artist as I mean as you should you know for all these years but do you have any more influences or are you more influencing yourself now I think that's what it is. I think I'm influenced by the culture of where I come from. I yeah. Think now, at first, I think I was using where I came from and the, and the life that I come from to like make my music. Mm-hmm. And now I feel like my music just gets made just because I'm living life. Yeah. Like I'm just doing what I want to do now. I'm I'm living life the way I want to live life and then putting it on record. That's it. Yeah. Why not? Why not? Give them, give them a good story to tell. <laughs> so, which is your favorite single that you put out so far? 
Hus the last one I just I just dropped a video for the last single that I've dropped, Hustle Grind. It's probably one of my favorite songs in the whole wide world. I've been waiting for a long time to drop this song. Okay. And I shot the video for it maybe like a month ago, two months ago. Okay. And then I was holding it. And I shot some other videos and I put one of those other videos out before this song because mm -hmm. I was like like I said, I was doing my, my, my testing process. I was yeah. like, I can't test on this song. Yeah. I'm going to test on this other <laughs> shit right quick. Which is also dope. Mutual benefits. That's how I go check that out, too. I'm going to shout out all my shit tonight. As you should. <laughs> this is about you. <laughs> this for is real, about you. For real. Yeah, so it's Hustle Grind. Um, it's a video. It's a, it's, a, it's a dope song, man. It's a dope. What makes that one the one? The one to hold for so long? Just pro I think the content of it, it's a lot about, I, that's who I am, I'm a hustler, I'm a grinder, mm -hmm. uh, and I and I wanted to, I really wanted to come out with something that like represented me as a whole, Yeah. and I think that song just represents me as a whole, I talk a lot of that shit, mm -hmm. and I think that's one of those songs that just represents, it is it's a catchy hook, it's easy to, for motherfuckers to mimic, my kid runs around and says, ah, hustle, 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 so once he, did, <laughs> once he was doing that, I was like, yeah, this is the one, this yeah. is the one, yeah. So how you got your kids listening to your music? I mean, now they're old enough yeah. to really know. Yeah, my, that... my son hop on YouTube quick and play yeah. my stuff. The other day, his friends didn't think that I was his dad, which was really weird. Like, <laughs> he was like, my dad's a rapper. And then he had to call me on FaceTime and was like, they don't believe that I know you. <laughs> it, was, it was the craziest It was the craziest shit ever. I'm like, yeah, what are you talking about? <laughs> Just show him the video. He said, I showed him the video and it, they, they don't think I really know who you are. <laughs> like, man, that's wild. Like, yeah. I didn't know kids cared about shit like that. Kids are all about YouTube. Man. That's... If you're on YouTube, you're, you're famous. Exactly. Quick. Like, yeah. I mean. I wish I wish adults worked like that so I could win. <laughs> 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 I wish the niggas with money yep. would think about, man, he's on YouTube. We got to pay him a million dollars. Yeah. Well, <laughs> you know, we were kind of talking about that a little bit earlier. So, like, the music industry now is more, like, about who got the most likes, who got the most followers. Right. Who has the most clout, you know? Right. What? Not, about, not about the talent anymore. Yeah, it's not. What does that do to a person who has the talent, mm. but not really caring to chase for the clout? Well, it puts them in a box, really, because you're mm -hmm. like... You, a person that doesn't really care about that clout is probably somebody with a high moral value, because... Yeah. To get the clout, you gotta usually do some shit that's immoral. You know what I'm saying? Right, you, right. You gotta make right. yourself look dumb or something. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Or go against your own values. Right. So, um, I think it it kind of it either makes you a stronger individual or it turns you into the person that you're like, oh, I gotta do this. Well, I gotta do it. Yeah. I gotta do some stupid shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And you don't want to be that. I feel like I would never want to be that person. So. Uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> I guess I'm just, I, it made me stronger, I guess, because now mm -hmm. I'm just finding out other ways. I'm using other routes. Um, I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll, excuse me, I'll sign an artist that is like that before mm -hmm. I go be one. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because I know, hey, he made me some money. Right. That's a smart move. You right. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not going to, I'm not going to turn into that. No. That's a show. That's a, that's a show. I'm not putting on no show. I feel <laughs> like that myself, you know, like, they got all these, like, and are like girls and I follow a few other radio hosts and stuff like that and they just be like real extra with it right. or they, like do the most for the follow they do yeah the most just, and I'm oh, like you know what better. like I'm not trying to do that like I'm trying to get the content out mm -hmm. I have nothing to do with your sex life I, right. I don't care about all that like you, you know what I compare <laughs> to a lot of times is like bikini barista shops yes like they might have the worst coffee ever. Yep. But the bitches half naked, so we're gonna go and give her a tip. Yep. But you can go to Starbucks, that's <laughs> pretty good too, shit. Yeah, actually and not, tastes better. Yeah, and not give up. <laughs> you ain't giving them no tip. You mad because you paid six seventy nine right. or whatever. <laughs> like it's crazy. Right. It's like, damn, you you rather this bullshit. Yep. That's wild. It is. I think that it's it's I hope it changes soon because I feel like the people who are genuine like us that really do have the talent and that really do work hard to get seen to be seen as working hard mm -hmm. like that get noticed instead of people that don't really do nah, much. It, it's gonna change. This is the one thing I know for a fact. Everything is like a fad thing. Like Yeah, like, that's true too. If you notice now like all these cats is going to jail and they're making mm -hmm. new laws for guns and shit like Yeah. They let they, they they started this. They was like, Oh, we're gonna sign all these crazy motherfuckers who's doing all this crazy shit. Yep. And now they're like, Oh, we created a monster. <laughs> right. So now we got to get rid of them. We, they they putting them all in jail, killing them. Yep. You know what I'm saying? And it's gonna it's gonna turn. Yeah, that, now that fad's over. It's gonna be whatever the next phase is. I'm like, but yep. it's sad that 
we as a culture keep letting it happen like that. Absolutely. Because we control this shit. We made it. We control it. Let's let's stop letting other motherfuckers control it. Yeah. Because that's the crazy shit, bro. It is. A year ago, or three, four or five years ago, you couldn't walk around and address in hip hop. Hell no. <laughs> and now somehow, that wasn't even an option. Yeah. Now somehow there's niggas with purses and shit, and it's it ridiculous. Nails, <laughs> Nails and shit. It's like hold yeah. on. Uh, I was just looking the other day. One of the Latin artists, I think J Balvin or something like that, mm-hmm. gets like nail nails, like yeah, pointy I, nails. And I stuff. just saw today Uzi Vert bought a new uh, uh, Coco Chanel purse. Yeah, Uzi Vert be picked. And that's news though. Ty Dolla Sign, one of my favorite artists, had his toes orange. Man. I was like, but that, and that's crazy that it's a. That's what they. That's what they put in the news. That's like, yeah. Well, yeah, he had his nails painted today. But I can't get I can't get a thousand views in, in two hours. That can, that, that can get a thousand views in forty seconds. Right. Ty Dolla Sign got orange nails today. Yep. Oh shit. It's crazy. Man. I don't I don't I don't get it. And I think that like where we're from too cuts us a little differently to yeah, where yeah. like that shit is. Yeah, because they don't play no games. You ain't gonna uh-huh. do no. You ain't doing none of that shit around with <laughs> Ralph Tacoma. Yeah. Hell no. let, me, let me just let me state the fact we're we're from Tacoma. We don't yeah, play that shit. We don't. Yeah, don't come around with no. Go, you got your nails painted around here. We're taking everything. I don't care what you think, what you got a guns you think you brought, nigga. This is Tacoma. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> with your I nails mean... painted with a purse on, nigga. You better fix yourself together. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, like, that's that's really what it is. When I see that shit, I'm like, huh? Like, I just... You I had no daddy, it. nigga? Your daddy, your, first of all, my mama didn't raise no punks, neither. That's the weirdest part. I'd be like, damn, I was raised by just a woman, and she was never going to let that happen. <laughs> ever. And you got, what you doing with even nail polish, nigga? What you doing? Did you ask me? <laughs> I just, I just, I mean, it's it's everybody though now too. Like, in, it's mostly the younger generation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The ones coming up. That's how I be, I be having. Man, my son be watching this shit. I be like, Ooh. man, please don't turn out like that. Please. Oh man. And he be trying. I be like, what do you, yeah, well, what do you mean? I want to get my hair d- braided with one braid all the way to the side though. I'm like, <laughs> nah. <laughs> you better just fade, little nigga. I got Caesar. <laughs> yeah, you need a Caesar. Yeah, skin tight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we ain't even letting you get the fat, flat top, the bark shit, because that's too much hair. You might, you might try to do some gummy shit. I'm not with that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so with your label though, you have just you signed on it right here, or? Uh, nah, nah, nah. We got a uh, uh, an extensive. You got a roster. Out. Yeah, we started off with just me and my my partner Leon Phelps. As a, uh, uh, we just signed on a producer Bam Bam. He's filthy. Um, and Roly UGA Roly from Mississippi from from really Mississippi he feel okay. he, yeah yeah um, and we just doing work we just trying to make it happen yeah yeah I'm not sign I'm not signing a whole bunch of artists I'm signing the only artists that I believe in and okay. are working hard towards their dreams and shit like we came out here with with merch we came out here mm-hmm. with product and stuff and we've been working you know what I'm saying yeah. getting it off it's good to see I didn't I didn't let me remind you I didn't take this trip from Seattle to Vegas like four times and it came through here no three mm-hmm. times and it came through here and never did as much work as I've done on this trip and I've wow. only, uh, yeah I've only been on this trip for two days yeah you know, three, how many days has it been three two you said Friday we got here on Friday yeah, yeah it? Sunday today's, today's Monday. Monday I don't know what day is it my day, <laughs> I'm gonna tell you no sleep is a part of this shit too. Yeah, <laughs> lack of sleep. For real, because no I, days off. I slept for the first time last night. That was the first eight hours of sleep I got in, oh, like, wow. in like two weeks. Damn, yeah, how real. did that feel? I don't remember really because <laughs> we woke up and had to come come to the studio session. Wow. <laughs> but it, it, I guess it felt good because I'm I'm up now. Yeah, yeah, you're energized. I'm good now. Last <laughs> you recharged. But it's crazy because <laughs> last night I was I was in the studio session until what two, and I was about to go to sleep at like nine. Oh. And at night and I was like man and that's I, pretty early and I snapchat my, my engineer he was tired he's on the floor crashed out <laughs> and I looked at myself and I said I gotta do better <laughs> I got my second win on that ass yeah I got my second win I was in there killing shit <laughs> yeah but yeah that's what it is it's a lot of second win you have, you're gonna have to hit your third win sometimes yeah just to, to make it happen but if you have a dream and you believe in it it's worth it that is Definitely absolutely worth it. So where are you guys heading next? Yeah, we back to we back to we actually we'll stop in the bay before we get up out of here, but then we back to Washington on uh on Wednesday. Okay. Yeah, 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 we gotta get up out of here. We've been here. We've been in LA for far too long. <laughs> <laughs> what what are you guys doing like all together? Do you guys do like group things or just more a solo artist? Yeah, we're actually actually today's session is probably gonna be the first session that we uh actually do some group shit. We all been just focusing on ourselves as artists, which mm-hmm. is what I want. I don't want Yeah. I don't want to create a label where it looks like we're a group. 
Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I want to create a label where each individual artist is successful. Yeah. And, and if I can do that, then I can, I can do anything in this world. <laughs> I already feel like I can do anything in this world, so, but, but I, I'm ready for it. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So, so now got, that I you have, team. yeah. So now that you have your own label, would you ever sign to another one? Yeah, for sure. Okay. If they got the right money, talk right. about. Right. I, I, I'm so, <laughs> for real. I'm so confident in myself and what my me and my team can do mm-hmm. that I'm not really concerned unless you're talking about some shit that's gonna help me and my team's yeah. lives out. Like if you ain't, yeah. if you're not, if you're talking about a couple of bucks, nigga, I can make a couple of bucks for myself. You yeah. Know what I'm saying? And that's the other thing. I'm sitting in the streets with this shit. So mm-hmm. if you need, if you if you like drugs and shit, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna just say that if you like drugs and shit. <laughs> Hmm. Well, this is the place. Shit, hmm. it is LA. We're not supposed to say that. Oh, I'm just saying. <laughs> if you like drugs and shit, that's it. <laughs> yeah, they know. They know. They know. Bless you, the trap, niggas. Know the trap, niggas. I done seen you sell at least four times because of crack, nigga. Because of crack, nigga. I done seen your homies turn phony just because my shack bigger. Because my shack bigger. So if God sent them blessings, I can send me where they at, nigga. True, true, but I ain't tripping no. At least I ain't serving no sentence, y'all. A nigga finna do a long one, but I'll take pain. I can't visit, though. My baby mama think I'm on one. She done switched up. Still miss it all. I just pray that every time she see me out in public, I'll be with a different hoe. Straight flex. If I don't fuck with you, don't take it personal. If you see me smoking and I do not match, then it must be my personal. You see me in traffic, don't ask what I'm doing. You know they don't work, huh? And I don't do tricking, so I won't be questioning whatever you question for. And that's real. Cause I'm grinding, cause I'm grinding. Yeah, nigga, I'm grinding. Yeah, bitch, I'm grinding. Yeah, bitch, I'm grinding. Yeah, bitch, I'm grinding. Yeah, Said I'm grinding. Yeah, yeah, I'm grinding. Yeah, Cause I hustle, cause I hustle, 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 h